We've been looking for a industrial strength, beautiful, customized garage floor that we could do ourselves without needing to go to uh, a professional that would charge us thousands and thousands of dollars. It was pretty inconsistent, like all of the quotes. With coronavirus like going on, like nobody goes to the gym. We've got our gym equipment here and we wanted to create a space that's like nice so that I can work on my paramotors or the, the four-wheeler and, and Leandra and I can exercise. And I think it just makes it such a nice room to, to have a nice floor. Like it, it, it almost takes it from being a garage to like an extra, an extra room. room. Right, yeah. for sure. Full Flake system is an epoxy floor that has flakes, like paint chips, some people refer to them as, and where it's broadcast over the entire floor. And the reason we wanted that, we wanted it to have texture, we wanted it to have color, and just be unique. Because we've seen plenty of those epoxy floors that just kind of have little speckles of the chips, and we weren't too fond of the like, way that looked. Like the one at Home Depot or, or the kits at Lowe's. Yeah. After all this research, we finally found a company that was recommended by individual companies that actually install floors. And so oh, I was yeah. like, if this is if this is the product that they're so using, they're endorsing, yeah. can we get our hands on it and do it ourselves and save maybe $4,000? Which was still super intimidating because <laughs> when you're dealing with epoxy, I mean, you're, you're up against a time crunch and we were just kind of nervous about even trying to approach it ourselves. And so we went to the website at Legacy Industrial. What I liked about Legacy was the options that they had and it made it kind of difficult honestly because there were so many great color combinations. You know, I came across one and I was like, man, that's super unique. It has a little bit of color, but it's still warm and soft enough. Like a rusty orange and then like a turquoise. And right. You have the option to get like all of the tools included for like 99 bucks. So it comes with everything that you'll need. It comes with that, the rollers, the spike shoes. The preparation of your, your garage floor prior to laying down the epoxy is the most important step. The concrete ought to be etched in. So there's different versions or, or ways to do it. And Legacy Industrial has a uh, instruction thing that Leandra and I both read over. Mm -hmm. We went to the Home Depot and we rented a floor buffer and that thing was a beast. It's a good ab workout though, just yeah. because it's constantly trying to go one way or the other way and you're fighting it, but there's a little finesse to it. You have to like use it enough to understand how to do it, which I didn't Right. And <laughs> it was difficult. If you let it do the work and then just kind of like lift it or, or push it, it'll, yeah. it'll tend, to, it'll influence it to go one way or the other. So you can uh, eventually just steer it around the garage effortlessly for like four hours, or I, mean, I think I did you it for did like two it for, hours or three hours or something. For like a whole morning. Yeah, and it's super dusty. Get yourself like a great mask, <laughs> yeah. something. After we had we'd swept everything and, and sucked everything up, then we got the garden hose and just, and just sprayed it all off. Sprayed it, yeah. It smelled so good. Yeah, it smelled like rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after the concrete dried, uh, Leandra and I were able to spot some uh, hairline cracks so we reached out to Scotty over at Legacy Industrial and I would get a response really quickly. Even on the weekend. Even on the weekend. Yeah. I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> but he's just a nice guy, like super yeah. nice guy. And so we used the, the joint filler and that was like super easy. It's like 50% A, 50% B in, in the solutions that you get. And then you shake it up really good and you use a silicon sand, uh -huh. a so silica sand, sand yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you lay it in there and then you take your grinder and it just like smooths it off perfectly. And once you've done all of these cracks and fill them all in, like your floor looks impeccable. Uh, yeah. It, it was almost like maybe we maybe should we shouldn't. Like, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't put epoxy down. <laughs> yeah. We were pretty nervous about putting the epoxy down, and and it was like this anxiety-inducing thing in the back of our heads. Right. We were like, okay, we have to get this done. But eventually, we just did it, and we followed the instructions. We mixed it up for I think it was like three minutes in the yeah. bucket, part A, part B. Mixed it up poured it out in a ribbon across mm -hmm. the garage. Um, and that's where we got a little bit confused <laughs> because we didn't have two sets of spike shoes. Yeah. So we were dancing. So I was like jumping across the ribbons that yeah. he laid out on the floor and... Leandra did like a super bang up job getting it rolled out into all corners. Does bang up mean bad? No. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Does bang up mean good or it bad? It like they did a bang up job. Like they didn't do a good job. I think it means a good job. 
did a really good job <laughs> at, at spreading into all the corners of the room and, and she had also taped it off in preparation for this. And then as, as soon as I finished pouring the other one and she had rolled out this section, I just started flaking it, flaking it, flaking it. You will not run out of flakes. There are so many. Just, just, just pile it on. Go yeah. down <laughs> with the flake. Like just throw it everywhere. Basically. At one point we were just throwing it anywhere because like it was right. already covered, but right. you never really, I mean. Almost just as a celebration, like we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> Aside from the epoxy, you also get the clear coat. And this is this is like a really easy part because you don't have to you don't mix, have to mix anything. anything. Yeah. Right. But you can also use it for these vertical edges, where if any of the paint chips didn't initially adhere to the surface, then you could it's like you could patch it up, paint on mm -hmm. some of that, and then throw the flakes, and that stuff was sticky. Yeah, it was. The final step. At around 22 hours, the following day, what we did was we came through, and that's when you brush up and you kind of scrape and sand the excess, the extra flakes, uh -huh. exactly. Then you take like an 80 grit piece of sand paper, you lightly sand it, super light, and then finally <laughs> you get the uh, clear coat. You pour it into the paint tray, and you just do this like easy rolling it. You make these rows and. I, then once you get the entire floor surface covered, two to four hours, between two to four hours, see I've got it memorized, I was like, <laughs> ah, The stress. The stress, exactly. <laughs> two to four hours later, you can go for your second coat, and then your third coat or fourth coat if you wanted to, but we did two coats. Two. Two yeah. coats, and, and, and it's perfect. It's perfect. It's got yeah. a little bit of texture to it. Which I wanted. It's like, oh my, it's got the perfect texture. I, I wanted it to still have some texture because I right. wanted it to feel tough. I didn't want it to be smooth and, right. you know, us sliding all around here. I wanted it to have that. And it does. And it yeah. looks great. We got what we wanted mm -hmm. out of it, which was really cool. If there's any project out there that you guys want to do and you're like kind of intimidated, just do research and, right. and you can pull it off because we did this and we really were nervous about it. Right. So have a little faith in yourself because you definitely can do it if we pulled this off. Yeah. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. I uh, hope you subscribe and we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.